Hi everyone, I'm Clinton Loftars and welcome to Photomanipulation.com, the best place on YouTube for creative photo manipulation, advanced walkthroughs and speed edits. And in today's tutorial we will be going over how to change any colour in Photoshop using the Hue and Saturation Adjustment layer. So if you find this video of any value, we would all be truly grateful if you would like this video, share this video, or even subscribe to the channel, we'll be truly grateful and you won't regret it, there's lots of good content coming your way. So let's get on with the tutorial. So here we have an image of a red car. But what if we wanted that car a different colour, so something like yellow or green? Well, very easily we could change that colour without affecting the other colours or hues in the image. So what we would do is go up to our adjustment panel here, click on hue saturation, uh, the hue saturation adjustment appears in layers panel here, and then we have the properties box here. So let's just run through the properties first. So here we have master, and that's all the colours. So anything you do on any of these sliders will affect all the colours, but you can then go in and target specific colours. So the hue saturation, obviously, it just changes the hue. The saturation, self-explanatory. Lightness, also self-explanatory. So this gradient at the bottom is the hue gradient, and this is the, this is the hue we have at the moment. And if we change the hue, this is what we are changing the hue to on the bottom gradient. So let's say we want this red car to be yellow or green. What we want to do is go into red, we want to target that red colour and then just change this into a different colour. So let's go for, I mean let's go for purple, that's quite a nice colour. And see how simple that was? We just basically targeted the red and then pulled the hue slider until we found the colour that we wanted. But, what if we wanted to do that on a more complicated image? So let me just click on this image. So here we have uh, another red car. This time in some kind of uh, woodland setting with leaves on the floor. The only problem this time is the car is red and also the leaves have some red in them. So let's again go up to the hue saturation. Click it. We'll create a hue saturation adjustment layer above our car and then the properties box pops up here. So let's now target again the reds and move the hue slider. Now if you see what is happening this time, it's not only changing the hue of the car, but also the trees and the leaves in the background. So there is a way of solving this. So if you look at the bottom, this is the target area of the color range we are targeting. But what we want to do is we can we can play around with these uh, I don't know what the technical term is but we'll call them handles so you can change the kind of range of colors that you're affecting so let's change it to reds as you can see it's still affecting these leaves as we pull so what I'm gonna do now is we just change the target range of that so let's pull in I guess they're going to be more going to the yellow, so let's move that to the left. So this kind of, and then pull this handle into the left. So these leaves will probably maybe in this range here, so now we might not be affecting that range. So if we change the hue, as you can see, it's only changing the car and not the trees or the leaves. And that's because the leaves are in the more orangey kind of area here, because we've now moved the target area away from there we're not affecting these colors in these areas let's just move it back as you can see hold on now we're i pulled it a little bit too far because we're now affecting the car so let's just pull this handle a, bit, a little bit back to the right so somewhere here there we go and then a little bit more And that's it it's not affecting the leaves and we're changing car it could be affecting a little bit here but there's also another way around that and this is the layer mask on our adjustment layer so let's change the car to green that's all good let's get rid of that let's click on and off so it's, it's still affecting a little bit around these areas so because we've pulled it to the uh, maximum amount without then 
much making it different when we affect the car what we can do is just with this layer mask here and the press B for brush and then put it on a setting of let's put it on 40% make sure our brush is set to black to hide anything that we have done on the layer mask we can just paint that away from any of these areas here where it could still be affecting the leaves like so so now it is definitely only affecting the car so i'm going to show you another image when i used the hue saturation adjustment and this time it was on this image in this image i wanted obviously a color contrast with com complementary colors so I wanted the blue turquoise background and then I wanted her hair to stand out with the orange color but what if we wanted to change that color to something else how would we do that well it's just like we did before basically so a mixture of hue saturation and then layer masks if needed so let's go and create a hue saturation adjustment layer so same as before we want to target this color so I think Although it looks kind of red, there's a lot of yellow in there. So let's let's go and target the yellows and then see what happens. Ah. So uh, yeah, there is a lot of yellow in that hair. But what we can do, it's not getting it all. So we can play with the color range. And uh, so let's change actually the color to let's to go with a red color. But then we don't want it on the skin. So let's just pull these handles a little bit to the right. Pull this handle in. So sometimes this is a little bit of trial and error, just pulling it which way you want it. So there we go. But what would we do then? It's obviously, obviously affecting the skin as well. So what we do is we press Control I to invert our layer mask on that adjustment layer, and we then with a brush we paint that on to the hair so we're just basically revealing on the layer mask the adjustment that we've made with the adjustment layer so we've gone for a kind of cyberpunky neon pink which is probably in at the minute we can just paint that in over and not affect the skin on the image so what if you want to use this in a more creative way well let me show you one last image so in this image of my son here i wanted to turn him into a zombie and that's what i did but uh, zombies don't usually or in a lot of movies don't and in cartoons and comic books don't have normal human looking skin they have green skin obviously they're supposed to be dead so how can we do this so again human saturation adjustment layers come to the rescue so let's go up create our adjustment layer and then let's go down and go into the reds there's probably a lot of red in the skin it's either going to be red or yellow but let's start with the reds and see what that affects so as you can see there it's affecting a lot of the background so Let's click plus control Z and let's just see what happens when we target the yellows. So yeah, his skin is definitely in the reds. So now we've got into the reds, what we can do is we can also use this hand sometimes to target a certain colour and then look, we can change it up and down. But for now we're not going to use that today. We are going to target the reds. And then let's change our skin to a green colour. So just look at the skin and not what everything else that's happening in the image. So that's a nice sickly kind of zombie colour. But what if we want to bring some of the red back of the skin so it just looks a bit more realistic? Because at the minute that looks a little bit fake. What we can do again is pull on the handles on the um, colour range and let's just move that a little bit to the right. And then if we pull the handle down, as you can see now, to the right as well, we're bringing some of those skin tones back into the body, around the eyes, the lips. Obviously, the lips look a little bit too much. Let's just pull that back out. 
There we go. So we've still got those nice skin uh, tones on the arm and the face. As you can see, there's a little bit of red coming through the cheeks. And on zombies, it's not all completely green. You do get those kind of skin blemishes. So, again, what do we do now? We make sure where our layer mask is selected. We press Control I and we hide that. And then with a white brush, we then just paint the adjustment back onto our model, like so. So we don't have to be crazy here. And then I would be a lot more uh, refined if you were doing it in real life. I'm just doing this very quickly to show you, um, to save time. So I'm just gonna paint this face. These kind of images you need to be, you need to be quite particular with and spend a decent amount of time doing these things and going over and then changing it, coming back. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a skin there and some skin, uh, some red coming through the cheek. So let me just colour the skin in here, like so. And then if you wanted to, you could always lower your floor here and then paint in and out of this hair here. Like so. And then you would just paint it onto the arms. And let me just put this brush back up to full. Just to quickly show you. And then I would paint in all the arms here. So this is the best way to do a zombie skin. Sounds quickly do his hands here. As you can see you got those little blemishes of the skin coming through. So he used to be human and now he's full zombie. Brains! <laughs> um, so my son always uh, loves these kind of images when he gets to be a part. So quickly just go over this area too. So I can just brush over this because we're not affecting any of the colours on those pants. on his pants there. Probably his dinner. <laughs> so let's zoom out now, control minus. And then there's a dot zombie skin. And once you get all your text textures on top of that, you can end up with an image like this. So there you have it. Three or four different ways and techniques to use the hue saturation to change any color to a different color in Photoshop. So I'll run through again. We did that on a simple ch change of color on a car. So from red to a different color. Then we went into a more difficult image where we had to refine the color range and also use a layer mask. And then I've showed you on another one using the layer mask and locally painting it back in. And then finally on this image, using it creatively to create zombie skin in Photoshop. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I hope you found value in this. I hope you can use these techniques and apply them to your own images. If you have found it of value, we would be honoured if you would like, share, subscribe to the channel, to share our videos and just tell other people about us. So thanks a lot guys, and I will see you next time.